least common multiple of the following monomial expressions 6a b squared and 15 a cubed b squared c. Now there's multiple ways to go around or about this process but one way that I really prefer is to think of the multiple as being something that needs to be larger than both of the other pieces that you're trying to find the multiple of. So for example we need to find a number that's going to be larger than 6 and larger than 15. So my preferable way of doing this as long as the numbers are manageable is to think of 6 as 2 times 3 and 15 is 3 times 5. So in order to cover both of these terms, both of these monomials, we'll need to have a 2 in the end result, we'll need to have a 3, and we'll need to have a 5. Notice I don't need to put 3 twice because each of the two parts, both of the two monomials, only have 3 occurring one time. Now as far as the a goes, on the left we only have 1a, on the right we have a cubed, or three copies of a. So in our least common multiple, we're going to have to put in at least three copies of a to cover the ones on the right. And these will, by covering the ones on the right, automatically cover the ones on the left. On the, how about the b? Well, two b's on the left, two b's on the right, so that's consistent, we just need two b's. And then as far as the c goes, we have one on the right, none on the left, but we do have that one on the right, so we have to put it in down here. So, for the final answer, 2 times 3 is 6, times 5 is 30, a cubed, b squared, c. Okay, pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. 12x squared, y cubed, and 18x to the 5th, y to the 6th. Okay, assuming you took a moment to try this, if we break down 12, you might notice that 12 is 6 times 2, and 6 is 2 times 3. So the number 12 is a 2 and a 2 and a 3. 18 would break into a 9, 2, and a 3, 3. So it's a 3 and a 3 and a 2. So overall, what do we need in our least common multiple to cover? We need at least enough 2's to cover both of these monomials. So we need 2 copies of 2. We need enough 3's to cover all of the 3's, and notice that 18 had two 3's in it, so we're going to have to throw in two copies of 3. We have two x's on the left, five x's on the right, so I'll need to include at least five x's. And as far as the y goes, we need to include six copies of y to cover the ones on the right, which will cover the ones on the left also. So at the end, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, times 3 is 36, x to the 5th, y to the 6th, and this is our least common multiple.